Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, you're gonna be finding out is creatine monohydrate healthy for your workout? Stay tuned. Everybody, it's me, Amir, the Optimal Health Warrior. I got a question from one of the health warriors, and that is, Amir, is creatine healthy for you, and should I be taking it? Great question. Uh, creatine rocks. Let's first off figure out what foods first contain creatine. So if you're working out, you should be uh, eating beef, chicken, and fish. They have the highest amounts of creatine, so just check that off. If you aren't eating those, start eating them. As <laughs> simple as that, okay? Now, how does creatine monohydrate work? You know, you always hear in the bodybuilding community or in the optimal performance community, you must take creatine. Great, you know, I appreciate the advice, but really cellularly, how does it work? It's very simple to tell you the truth, and this is just one aspect of it. There's many other beneficial reasons to take creatine and also dosaging matters, but let's talk about ATP. ATP, or also known as adenosine triphosphate, is your rocket fuel. Without it, we pretty much die and we have chronic fatigue. So ATP is our coal or our furnace fuel source of our body. Now how ATP is made is it's made from ADP, adenosine diphosphate, and then an inorganic phosphate is added on. Now what creatine does is creatine monohydrate actually donates or gives a phosphate, a phosphate, you know, so you've got phosphocreatine here. So basically it's going to add it to the ADP. Once it binds together like a marriage like this, it's going to create ATP. Therefore you have more energy. And if you have more energy and more ATP, you have more action with your actin and myosin. So let's recap that once more. ADP needs an inorganic phosphate to create ATP. Creatine monohydrate gives you that inorganic phosphate, gives you phosphocreatine to create your ATP. So to answer your question, yes, creatine monohydrate, key, keyword mono, I don't know what the other forms, I'm just talking about monohydrate. Monohydrate is fantastic for optimal human performance and increased muscle growth. The question is how do you take it? Personally, I take it in eight week cycles, at five grams pre-workout, five grams post-workout, I like to add it with my branch chain amino acids and a little bit of organic baking soda. And that's my mix. As simple as that. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you're not eating beef, chicken, or fish, I highly recommend you start eating it. Okay? If you want to get more optimal performance, if you want more creatine in your body. There you have it. Creatine monohydrate is Amir approved. And I'm telling you, if you haven't tried it already, go out there and try it out yourself. If you want me to answer any of your questions, Click the link below this video for Just Ask Amir, and please share this video with your friends and family, and remember, live, breathe, grow. Warrior Unleashed. Have a great day.